Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me congratulate the Honourable Gentleman on securing the uh, UQ. I think he's right to try and smoke out the government's position, and it's no wonder he's confused. But he'll still remain confused, I think, after the Minister's replies today. Let's be clear, Mr. Speaker. The government placed a moratorium on fracking because they said it was dangerous and could not rule out unacceptable impacts on the local community. The Business Secretary said in 2020, fracking is over. Just a few days ago, he said it would come at a high cost for communities and our precious countryside. Yet last Wednesday, just three days later, the same business secretary said, and I quote, the government is open to the idea in the House. But yesterday at Chatham House, the minister ruled it out. They are completely all over the place on this, Mr Speaker. So let me... uh, well, Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm delighted to see him uh, in his place at the dispatch box uh, today. Um, he says he's confused, Mr Speaker, but I have been absolutely clear that government policy is unchanged. I'm not sure what he finds confusing about government policy being unchanged. It is unchanged from the 2019 manifesto. Now, we did not, in 2019, put our manifesto on an headstone, Mr Speaker. (laughs) But I will have to say to him, it is clearly available for anybody to see online what the manifesto pledges that this side of the House all ran on, and government policy is unchanged, Mr Speaker, from then, with or without an Edstone. He is saying that it is sowing uncertainty. No, Mr Speaker. Actually, we have given absolute certainty here that government policy is unchanged from the pause announced in 2019. There is no review. Uh, We still have the pause from December 2019, which would be a science-led policy with the support of local communities if there were to be a change. And then finally, Mr Speaker, we heard about the green energy sprint. It's absolutely extraordinary. Since he was the Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change in 2010, we have increased the proportion of our electricity generation coming from renewables from 7% to 43%. Now, in any normal terms, that would be a sprint, but it's also a marathon in the sense that we have done that over a period of 12 years, almost a sextupling, Mr Speaker, if I might, of the amount of energy coming from our renewables compared to the time when he was in office. He talks about nuclear, Mr Speaker, but he will also remember the 1997 Labour manifesto when they said they saw no economic case for new nuclear power stations. And now he has the cheek, Mr Speaker, to come to the dispatch box today and urge that we get on with nuclear. The government is getting on with nuclear, Mr Speaker, and is getting on with renewables, doing exactly the green energy sprint he has suggested. 